Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I want to show you how to quickly customize this poster. This is what the poster looks like when you first pull it up, and you should have Show Transform Controls and Auto Select Layer checkmarked. You should have your Layers palette up, and if it's not up, you can go to Window and then click Layers so that it comes up. And these are your layers. You have a, an area for a name, a year. We have two fonts for the word, word on the left, that you can use either font. You can turn that off the goalie, which you can change. And then we have three picture frames. You can actually add more picture frames just by duplicating those layers. We have three borders. We have the grunge, the vignette, and just a black edge. And I also have a gradient to the left that just helps cover a portion of the picture that you can turn off and on. And then we have an area for your large photo and a background layer. And all these layers also have styles that you can turn off and on. So let me go to my history real quick and get where I started. Alright, back to my layers. Now the first thing I'm going to do is pull in my pictures. So these are going to be my two pictures that I'm going to be using. And I'll go ahead and start with this motorcycle. I'm going to come over to my template and I'm going to arrow down to the bottom where it says large photo here. And then I'm going to grab my photo and pull it in. Now when yours comes in, it'll be larger, but this is a low resolution photo for demonstration, so it's coming in small. But basically what you want to do is press your shift key and drag the corner until you get the picture situated how you want it, and then press enter. The reason you press the shift key is to keep the aspect ratio, otherwise you get a distortion like this, and you don't want that. Okay, so we're not going to use all these frames, so I'm going to go ahead and turn these off, clicking on them, and then turning off with the little eye. And I'm going to go ahead and drag in my other photo, and I want to make sure I drag it into the right spot, so I'm going to come up here, picture frame number one, and then it says your photo here. If you're adding other photos for picture frame number two, you would click on this and drag the photo in and the same for three you would drag right underneath where it says your photo here you would drag the photo in when you have that layer highlighted so let's go back up to number one and your photo here and drag it in and I'm going to size it by pressing my shift key I'm going to bring it up to where I want it and I'm going to cut off a little bit and I want it about right there I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this area so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so basically what we want to do is get rid of this area around the edge. So first of all, I'm going to turn off my, my word here so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to highlight my picture. I'm going to come over to this tool right here. Click around on the frame. Just anywhere in the white area. You can click a couple times because it curves a little bit. And when you see that little circle, that means you can complete the area. And then I'm just going to click on my mask tool right here. And then, as you see, it takes away that area. If you have elements, you can't click on the mask tool. So I want to show you what you can do instead. You have the, let's say you have this selected. Basically, what you want to do is come up here to select, inverse, and then press the delete key. And it'll do the same thing. It's not quite the same thing, but it, it will get rid of that area. Okay, let's go ahead and view this again. And I'm going to select, deselect, and I'm going to go ahead and turn back on my word. Come back to my layers. And I'm going to change this, so I'm going to click on my type tool. And I'm going to change this. And as you can see, it doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do is come up to my move tool, and I'm just going to stretch it out. Oh, not like that. I'm just going to stretch it out with when this changes to the little arrows, I'm going to press my shift key 
and arrow up till I get it and same thing down here and that basically just resizes the font without stretching it and then I'm going to press my left arrow and move it back over let's talk about the colors here you can change these colors what's on the inside the color of this is black the white part here is a stroke on this layer so I'm going to open this up so you can see the white part is a stroke so when I turn that off it disappears and the red part is an outer glow so if you want to change the color of the out, outer part you'll need to change the outer glow so let's change that to um, like a blue so you just pick any color or you can put a color in here and then I'm going to click OK and then over here the color is red I'm going to click on this I'm just going to match this. I didn't quite get it exact. You can zoom in on it too. Here, I'm going to zoom in so I can get the right color. Click OK. View. Fit on screen. And the same thing down here. Um, you can change any of these words. Let's say I wanted to change this and remove this and change this to 85 and let's say I also want to make it bigger you can make it bigger over here by increasing this or you can just drag it out like I showed you before okay so I'm going to change the color I can get that okay now if you make this a lot bigger you might need to change the size of the stroke on these so that it looks right so I'm going to show you how you change that the stroke is right here and what you do is you just slide this over to make it larger or smaller and the same thing with the outer glow on all these you can change it you'll need to adjust it based on how big your font is let me go ahead and cancel that and make this actually I'm just gonna come to my history I love my history palette because I can just undo things and I'm just going to take that back to small. You can come up here and of course double click on the name and change it to whatever you want. This is for lowercase with this font. And you can change the year. You can also change the background uh, which you can't see right now. You can also actually change if you are doing something where the background shows. This has a color overlay. You could do a gradient overlay you can do, change the color to anything now it's red and you can change the frames let's say you wanted the frame to be blue as well all you have to do is a color overlay choose the color that you want it to be so you can do that with any of the frames change the colors, add different layer styles, different techniques. And that's how easy it is to customize this poster. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have yourself a creative day.